From the outside, this hospital in the northern Israeli city of Haifa looks like any other. Patients, doctors, and ambulances on the move. But buried deep underground is an entire second hospital, Israel's backup in case things go from bad to worse. As Israel's war with Hamas rages, Dr. Michael Halberthal takes me to the world's largest subterranean hospital. A three-story bunker spanning more than 10 football fields with 2,000 hospital beds, a level one trauma center, and 24 operating rooms, even oncology and pediatrics units. What is the worst case scenario that this facility was built for? So the best case scenario is a military confrontation. The scenario is that we have to give solution for 50 days with missiles falling around us every four minutes. It's not a made up scenario. During Israel's last war with Lebanon in 2006, some 70 rockets fell within about 300 feet of this hospital, the building literally shaking while patients were inside. After the war, Israel decided it needed a hospital impervious to attack and started digging, pumping out 70 billion gallons of water from the ground and filling it with 7,000 tons of steel and 3 million cubic feet of bomb-proof concrete. In peacetime, this is a parking lot for up to 1,500 vehicles. But check this out. They have built into the walls and the ceiling everything you'd have in a full-fledged hospital, including electricity and even oxygen. Each set of three parking spaces can fit eight hospital beds. With Israel now at war, the cars have all been moved out, and this hospital is ready. And the only thing it left us to do is to bring the patient down over here. So you are now in high alert, ready for war here. Exactly. The first patients have already arrived. Adir Enmikas is six with end-stage renal failure. He needs dialysis six days a week, war or not. Do you feel safer knowing that if this hospital came under rocket attack, you would be safe underneath the ground? Okay. Unequivocal, Adir's mom says, we feel better now. She tells me that if, God forbid, Hezbollah rockets rain down on this hospital in the middle of dialysis treatment, they'd have no way to safely escape. Dr. Halberthal shows me the command center. In a crisis, EMS, police, and the military's home front command are all in one room. When you pick up that red phone, who's on the other line? So the, the army headquarters. And if Israel is attacked by chemical or biological weapons? We can be here, 8,000 people, without any help from the outside for three days. All the oxygen, electricity, water, food. If a second war front does break out on Israel's northern border, the worst of the wounded will be brought here to be treated underground. Israel's doctors hoping that day will never come. What does it say about what this country faces that you even have to have a facility like this? Obviously, uh, we all wish that we had peace.